We begin tonight with a devastating story out of Newark. A family right now desperately searching for answers after a sixth grade boy collapses and dies during a football practice. Yeah, they say he did not have any prior health issues and that if someone in charge of the football program had known CPR, maybe they could have saved him. News 12 New Jersey's Eliezer Marta he is here in studio with more on this story. Eliezer, what happened? Such a tragedy and his mom told us that he just turned 12 two months ago. Elijah's mom, she said that it was just a regular day for him. He went to school at the Kibrez Academy Charter School. He was actually dressed up as in the 90s. That was the theme of that day. His mom told us Elijah and his 10 year old brother then came back home from school. They changed clothes and took off to football practice. Now the last image that little brother has of his big brother is seeing him dead on the field. Oh God, he was so happy. This is what a mother with her heart ripped apart looks like. So happy to be here. He didn't know that was going to be his last day. Raven is inconsolable. Her first child, Elijah Jordan Brown Garcia, left his Newark home Friday afternoon and headed to the Westside Park football field to do what he loved the most, but never came back home. And I didn't know that me sending him to practice. Raven says the 12 year old had been a member of the Essex County Predators, a team owned by Big 21 of Bloomfield for three years. Elijah went to practice with his 10 year old brother, Makaya. No contact. It was just drills that he didn't get hit. He was a healthy kid. It's such a sudden death. While an official cause of Elijah's death is unknown, according to the Mayo Clinic, cardiac arrest is the leading cause of death in young athletes in the United States. Experts say there is one death in a high school student every three days. Elijah was just a sixth grader. Raven told us that Elijah's little brother, Makaya, was the one who called her to tell her that Elijah was laying down here on the ground and not responding. I was fighting for him. I grabbed him and I just kept saying, Elijah, get up, but I knew he was gone. They called the ambulance twice. I called before I even got there. I beat the ambulance there like 30, 40 minutes. It took them a long time. He was eventually rushed to University Hospital, but they couldn't save him. We have reached out to University Hospital for more information on the family's claim about the EMS response. And when the coach called me yesterday, he donated food. He called me, he said, I'm so sorry, none of us are CPR certified. He said, now that this is a loss, we're gonna all get CPR certified. While all New Jersey schools are required to have defibrillators on hand and at least one individual training CPR and defibrillation to be present at all practices and events, a law that was passed in 2015 to require the same for youth athletic events outside of school sanctioned leagues was vetoed by then governor, Chris Christie. They're neglectful. You can't run a you can't run a a, um, a team like that. We also reached out to Big 21, and they said on a statement, "We are unable to confirm any details at this moment, as this matter is currently under investigation." He was a spirit. He was a spirit, a spirit that I'll never ever I'll never understand why God took him. He loved to dance and was a fan of Chris Brown. This is him on a TikTok video with his brother Micah. What do you miss the most about him? I miss his face. I miss him dancing. I miss him playing football like he loved to do. If I would have known, I would have hugged him. I would have hugged him tighter. I would have told him how much I love him. Oh. There's not a criminal investigation into his death. Family told us they are looking into taking legal actions. Now GoFundMe page has been created to cover funeral expenses, and you can find that page on our website, News 12 New Jersey. I'm Elias Hermarte, News 12 New Jersey.